start with the first example that was creating a Telegram bot that we can use to report the portfolio stats. So let's call it example one portfolio TC. Um, I already created a bot with bot father and I asked ChatGPT how we can send a simple message. So here I'm going to add this library to UV because it has some issues. If not, UV add Python and bot. Perfect. Now let's copy the chat that here has. Um, also says here that we need to find our chat ID. So let's run this program first. So see our chat ID. Let's add a new one here. Uh, get chat ID example. We are not going to add this one, but it's very simple. You can pause the video and copy it if you want. Your bot token, I will expose this one. I don't care because I will delete the bot either way. So I will just run this and it will be waiting for this message. This is a bot that I created. It's very easy to create the bot. Just go to bot father and run new bot. Follow instructions. Uh, hi, got it. So it's answering and it's telling me the chat ID that is this chat ID. Perfect. So we can now close this. Let's go to this example. This is our chat ID that we need to replace. And we need to put this key again. Oh, you see, you never have to use a key like this, but this is just an example. But well, you will need to configure properly as an environment variable to make it uh, safe to use. Well, let's try to run this example to see if we are receiving the message. Uh, but send message was never awaited. Well, it seems like this is an async uh, function, so ChatGPT was not correct here. Let's wrap all this into a async dev main, um, just like this. Let's put this here and let's run await send message. If okay, let's try to run it in this way. Perfect. Let's see if we receive the message. Hello from Python Telegram bot. Perfect. We are now sending messages. That is really, really cool. So what we can do now is to define like another function. Let's say async dev um, periodic, uh, periodic portfolio, portfolio update task. We can call it like it is and we are going to receive here the bot uh, that will be a bot to send the messages um, and the chat ID chat ID will be another thing and the interval that will be in seconds that we are going to be sending these uh, these messages so what we can do now in this main function, instead of sending the message here, we can run um, async, uh, no, await uh, periodic task. And let's say that we're going to do it every five seconds with this chat ID and this message for now, we can do it like this while true. Uh, we're going to send this message and let's call it um, message will be, this is a periodic portfolio update. Uh, we're going to AC await async IO sleep this interval. Perfect. And let's try it now. If we run it, This should be sending every five seconds the periodic update. Perfect. So it uh, seems like it's working. We are sending a periodic update every five seconds. Now what we need to do is to, instead of sending a random message, send something about the portfolio. 
Then also we can do some error management because what happens if this breaks, let's say that, um, let's say that this breaks for something, for some reason, our whole program will be stopped. Let's make it break for, for, for something like E equal to zero. Um, at the end will be E plus one. And here, if um, E is greater than two, uh, race. So this, this is an exception, like exception, um, test error. So what happens if this happen? If this this happens here, is like the first message will be okay. We are right, okay. The second message will arrive okay too, but the third message will raise. Well, actually, the fourth message will raise an exception, and as we don't have error handling here, you see, is failing, and now the whole program stops. So the way that we have to avoid this is to add like a kind of um, try and let's add this code here and let's call it here except exception and uh, let's login error dot e let's import login um, and here we can log also login info uh, message sent successfully. So now if you run it again, you will see that the error will be will be catch it and the program will continue even if we have an error that 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 might happen also right. Ah I don't have configured the, the logger so well test error you see it's it's having errors but it's still uh, working the application so well um, now let's do it for real. So what we need to do here is instead of um, having just this, we can do this uh, periodic portfolio update. Um, instead of this, um, uh, let's configure uh, configure login, login basic config, login info, handlers. Um, Let's only have the stream handler so we can see the logs because before we did, we weren't able to see the logs um, there. So now let's say a portfolio portfolio state will be um, uh, here. We have the bot and we will have the um, we also will have the hummingbot hbot client. I mean, bot API client. And let's create the instance here too by saying uh, hbot client will be Hummingbot API client with, uh, well, with with the defaults because we're going to use the defaults. hbot client, bot, all that stuff. So here we're going to say await hbot client portfolio get the state. And then in the message, message, we're going to add the portfolio state, or we can just make something like this to don't have two message lines. This is a periodic portfolio update and the portfolio state. Perfect. And we're going to send this message now. So well, let's run now this program. Well, see, we have the first error that is client not initialized. Call await client init first. I missed that. It's true. I need to call the client init await hbot client init. Perfect. This will initialize. Perfect. Now we are seeing this is a periodic portfolio update, master account, Binance Perpetual, token units, and so. Well, um, now the last thing that we can do to make it clean and beautiful. Um, <laughs> well, here it says cannot access local variable E. We have a missing reference to this variable. Um, well, the last thing that we can do to 
look it beautiful will be something like this um, to ChatGPT. I am sending this message and this is the structure we can go here please give me a better formatting for the report okay well with these changes that ChatGPT will easily give it to me uh, well it's only putting this for master account but it should be doing it for all the accounts but well then if you want you can extend it and make it more beautiful for now is okay one thing that is really nice that i didn't mention is that this method get a state and almost all the methods that we are supporting here as you see supports account names as a list of strings and connector names also as a list of strings so if you want to filter some accounts you just pass the list of strings that you want here if you want to only filter certain connectors like let's say from all the accounts i only want to see binance you can just pass binance in that list and everything will be filtered but well that will be something for you to explore so if we run the application again we are going to start seeing the report a little bit prettier so well the first task is ready guys let's continue to the next one